Hi my lovely people, welcome back to another fabulous fragrance video. In this video I'm going to share with you fragrances from my collection that I think are perfect transitional fragrances to wear going from summer to fall. So if these are the perfect fragrances to wear when the weather is not quite, you know, it's not quite fall and it's not summer anymore. It's not hot and humid anymore and it's also not really cold quite yet. But you can feel that weather cooling down, right? You can smell the fall in the air. You can sort of start to feel, start to see some leaves maybe just slightly beginning to change color but not quite yet. It's not here yet but it's coming. Fall is coming and you get this beautiful sort of comforting feeling. It's one of my favorite things about fall when you know you first smell fall in the air, you know that weather cooling down a bit. You get that feeling of this like this comfort. It's, it's a very comforting feeling. It's, am I the only one who get that? But anyway, so these fragrances I think are perfect because they're not quite you know super cold weather fragrances. They're also not super warm weather fragrances. They're right in the middle. So if you want to find out what they are and hear my thoughts on them, just continue to watch. So as I said, you can smell fall in the air. The pumpkin spice lattes are going to be available. If not, they already are. I need to go look for it at Starbucks. So yeah, you get this sort of feeling of comfort you know and you feel the weather cooling down but it's still not you know it's not super warm or super cold I mean it's not even quite cold quite yet it's getting there right it's starting to cool down a little bit during the day not anymore in the 80s 90s it's more like in the 60s and 70s you know but also not super cold it hasn't plunged down below 50 yet so yeah this is the perfect weather for these fragrances. I have noticed there are certain types of fragrance that kind of fall right in that transitional box, you know. So I have some right here. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe like organize them in a way that I can talk to you guys about it. So I think I'm going to first start with one of the types of fragrances that I noticed are perfect for the transitional time, especially you know, at night time, I mean, you feel that comforting feeling from the weather starting to cool down, the fall feeling, you know, nighttime you can especially feel it. These type of fragrances are perfect. What, what are they? Lavender fragrances. You guys, I've noticed there are some lavender fragrances that I keep reaching for, especially since the summer ended, since Labor Day, right after that. I keep reaching for these because I want to wear these at nighttime. It gives me this like feeling of comfort and coziness, you know, like that, you know, and they're also not like cold weather, quite cold weather fragrances either. So they're just perfect. So these are lavender fragrances, as I said. So I have the first one here. This is Mont Guerlain Entense by Guerlain. This is the intense version. Did I bring the original? I also have the original. I guess I just didn't bring it down. So it doesn't matter whether it's this one or the original. They're both perfect transitional fragrances. This is a mainly the Entense version. Well, the original has uh, um, vanilla too. So there's uh, lavender and vanilla in the original as well. By the way, in this video, I'm not gonna go too much into notes and accords because I have quite a few to cover. So I'm just gonna tell you like the feeling of the fragrance. So this is quite a, a beautiful, sweet, vanilla, cozy, comforting lavender fragrance that is also very nice and kind of sexy too. So this Entente's version especially, like lavender gives you this super cozy feeling, you know, I really love that about lavender. So this is perfect. You can wear it nighttime especially in this transitional period. Um, and then I also have Libre by um, Yves Saint Laurent. And this is the original Libre, uh, which is also super beautiful. Again, it's a lavender fragrance. And then I have, I actually keep keep this in the packaging. 
until I do a few videos. And I also have Libre uh, Le Parfum. This is now this one has a little bit of, more of that mandarin and uh, loads more vanilla in this one, the, the Le Parfum. But it's still really, really good. This is especially great right now for nighttime wear. Perfect in this transitional period, especially. And this one also, nighttime, you know, like, like Netflix date night type of night. Perfect. Again, lavender fragrances. There's lots of vanilla. There are a lot of other uh, fragrance notes. I'm not going to talk about all the notes. I have covered notes extensively in my other videos, so I'm going to move on. Another fragrance, lavender fragrance, that I absolutely love for this kind of transitional time, especially to wear at nighttime, is Love on Trillon by Maison Lancome. Lancome fragrance. This one, uh, beautifully lactonic lavender fragrance it's a milky lavender fragrance if that makes any sense to you guys it actually is quite a lovely combination the the, the milky note and the lavender it's like if you made like a, a hot warm if you put a little bit of lavender in a warm cup of milk they you know that that cozy that milkiness with the cozy lavender that's kind of how this smells to describe it perfectly accurately um, there are many of course many many other notes I am not going into it this is super comforting I love to wear this especially at nighttime after taking a bath spray it on and this is a great bedtime fragrance by the way perfect for this kind of transitional time some people wear this out as well I mean it's it's beautiful either way so there is another type of fragrance that I've noticed that's perfect for this type of transitional time. It's fragrances with the almond note. I noticed that fragrances that are not super thick, super dense, that are perfect for fall and winter, not those. There are some almond-esque scents with the almond note, a prominent almond note that you want to wear in fall and winter. For example, uh, what is the Zerjoff Italica would be one of them. But I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about fragrances with a, a little bit of a, a, a prominent um, almond note, but isn't too beast mode, too strong, too in your face, but just perfect for that transitional period. So the first one I have in my hands is like perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect for this type of transitional time. It is a, a beautiful almondy vanilla fragrance with a little bit of powderiness. That almond accord in it is just, it lends itself, itself to cooling down weather, but not quite cold weather. Does that make sense? So yeah, this one is Rolling in Love by Killian. This is just a very... Mm, delicious, yummy, yet also slightly comforting kind of fragrance and also kind of sexy. So yeah, it's it's amazing how that works. I'm not, I'm not needing to spray any of these fragrances, you guys. I can smell really well. So yeah, this one is a very kind of smooth vanilla, like a little, you know, like uh, like almondy. Of course, that's like one of the main accords. You can it's like almost like a almond milk so it's what this has is almond milk so it has a little bit almost like a milky quality to it too because it's almond milk it's a little bit lactonic ish so yeah perfect 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 for transitional time this one you can wear daytime or nighttime another one that i think this is like a super niche fragrance house a very exclusive niche fragrance house so this is one of the more expensive ones i have on the list i have some really affordable and really expensive ones on the list because i wanted to do a mix so this one is one of my favorites to wear in this sort of transitional time from going from summer to winter i mean summer to fall this one is palais monarchy by kriegler this one you guys ah oh, this is a beautiful delicious uh, slightly almondy, little bit, very slightly, not that sweet at all because it's a, more of a savory leaning fragrance. Don't be taken aback when I said savory. It's, well, I just talked about in my pre previous video how people take perfume lingo or 
um, I don't know, like terminology in perfumery to literally. Now, when a, a, a fragrance composition says it's a little bit savory, it doesn't mean it smells like, I don't know, like a savory dish, guys. Okay, so just don't, don't even go there. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. This is this doesn't lean sweet. It leans more savory, if that makes sense. The lovely thing about it is, it is that it has that almond accord. You can smell it. It's very kind of um, gourmet, but not in a sweet, dense, fall, winter fragrance kind of way. Does it make sense? Um, this has some light, beautiful white florals like jasmine, orange blossom too, you, you get what I mean? So it's not quite a dense fragrance at all, but it's perfect for cooling down weather with that almond accord that's in here. And then it has a lot of uh, cedar wood, which is also comforting and cozy for like this transitional time. There's like vanilla accord from the tonka bean. It's just a beautiful and lot, lots of musk, which is really nice and sexy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful unique gourmet if that makes sense um absolutely love this fragrance lately i've been actually using this i bought this a while ago but i hadn't gotten to it because i have like a million fragrances and i'm just starting to wear it a lot more now that the weather is turning changing so yeah this is palais monarchy another perfect almondy floral fragrance that's perfect for this transitional time kind of cozy comforting Perfect. This is a Josma Marsipan. You guys, this one is this beautiful Marsipan is that icing or they cover cakes with it or they make candy with it. Uh, marsipan candy. Uh, it's made out of almonds, so it's sweet, you know, and almondy. And then jasmine is jasmine together, you know, that's the kind of idea of this fragrance. It's so beautiful, very unique, kind of has a little twist of gourmet in this fragrance. It's floral, but has that tiny, not sweet, but gourmet without being too sweet. It's kind of like uh, Palais Monati, you know? So it's that kind of fragrance, absolutely perfect for this time of the year. Um, you can wear this one actually even in warmer weather, but it has that sort of almondy kind of cozy gourmet vibe that complement cooling down weather better in this transitional period. And another type of fragrance that I notice work really well for this sort of transitioning time going from, you know, warm weather to cool, cooler weather are fragrances that either have a very earthy patchouli note or a kind of a herbally mossy note, you know? Mm. You guys, I know many of you, not many of you, some of you, a few of you are kind of intimidated by patchouli and you think it smells, you know, in some fragrances dirty. And maybe that is the case very, very rarely. But a lot of the time, you guys, patchouli with that earthiness, it really supports fragrance notes like rose, for example, makes it smell like a real rose pulled out of a, a, a fresh garden, you know, and, and sometimes patchouli can give this almost delicious vibe to gourmet fragrances, support other gourmet notes. Um, so don't look down on patchouli. Patchouli can be beautiful. And sometimes patchouli makes sweet fragrances really beautiful too. And, and then also, by the way, herbally, when I say herbally, again when when we say herbal in in perfumery it does not mean literally it smells like a like a, an herb like it doesn't smell like sage straight out of the I don't know plant um, it doesn't smell like flat out rosemary it, it's more of the perfume version it's it's more of a you got to use your imagination it gives this sort of twist that's herbally that's that herbally twist, some herbal notes give like Davana, lavender, which by the way is also an herbal note, can be very, 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 very sexy, very nice, very like herbally can be very sexy. So keep that in mind. So Gris Diro by Christian Dior is a, a gorgeous sort of, it's a rose fragrance. It's a very, very, what can I say, almost cozy but very buttoned up rose fragrance and with that moss note that's in the base and a little bit of that patchouli 
really make it very like appropriate for this kind of cooling down weather if that makes sense to you guys this is actually perfect office fragrance uh, f perfect uh, formal affair kind of fragrance buttoned up like i said it smells very classy very chanel-esque very um old money um i don't know like very kind of uh upscale kind of fragrance that has an a, a kind of a sophisticated vibe to it so yeah this this massiness with you know with the the earthiness from the patchouli and that rose that's it's like perfect for this kind of weather absolutely love to wear this to the office and formal type of occasion speaking of which there's another one that's along the same lines this is new to my collection i did a full review of this uh check it out i'll link it up here and down in the description box this one is chanel paris paris you guys this one is also that rose patchouli kind of scent along the same kind of lines as Gris Dior, you know? This one is beautiful. It's got a little slightly, little maybe tiny bit of like fresh juiciness with from maybe like a, a fruity note or two, but this is or also more or less very kind of rose patchouli type of fragrance. This one is a compliment getter that people can smell this one a mile away by the way beautiful appropriate for daytime wear just like Grey Dior um, I just absolutely love this one for this sort of transitional time this is like not a beast mode fragrance well I guess it is a stronger fragrance that lasts long and projects well but it's also not quite for like fall weather maybe back again in the winter time when it's late winter sure yeah perfect for this kind of transitional time um and the other mossy kind of like herbally one i wanted to share with you guys is this one right here this one is chloe nomad absolute this one you guys is a gorgeous herbally mossy just mm, sexy fragrance like i said like that mossiness and herbaliness can be very sexy you guys this is living proof for it this has davana one of the most sexy herbally kind of notes ever very kind of almost gives fragrances this balsamic sexiness and that moss you know gives it that sort of like herbally earthy vibes oh so good this is perfect for a nighttime wear or even I don't know, I mean, yeah, I would say mostly nighttime wear. You can wear daytime too, but perfect for this sort of transitional time, in my opinion. Chloe Nomad Absolute. Another sort of herbally kind of sexy, you know, kind of fragrance that's perfect for this sort of transitional time. Ooh, I love this one. This one smells like, ooh, sexiness. Ooh, you guys, I tell you. Ooh, it, this one makes my eyes roll to the back of my head, you know. This is by Emikolov. This is 20 years. Ooh, it's just delicious. This has like white rose. This has Devana, that beautiful sexy herbal note that I just talked to you guys about. It has beautiful florals like jasmine, orange flower, you know. Lots of musk. It's just stunning, you guys. It's not too like you know too thick and dense it's also not a summertime fragrance it's perfect for this time of the year you can wear it this daytime or nighttime but i recommend this for like a sexy date night in this type of transitional time when the weather is just cooling down in fact this is going to be my scent of the night next our next date this weekend so yeah this one is 20 years by emiklov if you want a discount on this fragrance this is from their new legends collection they had this fragrance always but they repackaged them and relaunched them so this new one if you want it you can only get it really at on the Mikolov website at a discounted price i have a nice discount code for you 10 percent off down in the description box go to the description box you guys when you go youtube changed the look of the the interface so you actually have to you know where you say see the like button and stuff there is a button that says a thing that says more you see the word more with like dot 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 click on that and it'll unroll the description box for you so that's where this is the link is at check it out this is absolutely drop dead gorgeous stunning oh my gosh this is sexy absolutely love this one. Oh my gosh oh my gosh 
um yeah so yeah that's beautiful those herbally sexy ones you guys oh my god this is so sexy take my word on this one my gosh <sighs> wow okay yeah hmm that one's good so the next sort of category if you want to call it that works really well for this transitional time strong floral fragrances like those beast well not beast mode those really strong floral fragrances that you kind of technically you want to wear in the summertime in the in the warmer months but they're just too too strong and they choke people right and this is perfect for me this cooling down time they're not quite for fall weather either but it's really really good to wear in this transitional time so i have a few of those here one is this one this is amouage portrayal woman this is a very spicy jasmine super like spicy jasmine it's like a very unique jasmine fragrance this has um what do you call that balsamic note um lmi yeah lmi so yeah this has lmi and jasmine you get the idea so it's a little bit like spicy feeling kind of balsamic slightly floral fragrance though it's jasmine it's certainly not for summertime it's not for warm weather by any means so this kind of fragrance perfect for right now you can start pulling them off you know what I mean and another strong um, fragrance that I wouldn't recommend for warm weather that is a floral fragrance is this one this is stunning you guys this is my second bottle this one is Raja Parfum Danger Parfum and this one you guys is a super strong you know white floral fragrance this has like gardenia and you know, jasmine you know, all sorts of gorgeous 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 white florals and uh, but this is a very strong one this has actually a leather note in the base you get the idea so it's quite the the strong fragrance it also has some spicy notes you know so beautifully drop dead gorgeous stunning 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 white floral fragrance i mean it also has loads of other um florals too like rose and you know violets and stuff like that but this is really really good for right now when the weather is cooling down um because this projects like crazy so it can withstand when the weather starting to cool, cool down but it's not really like a fall fragrance you know what i mean so yeah this is raja parfum danger parfum another one that is a strong sort of floral fragrance i think is too much for summertime and not really like a fall per se fragrance or you know anything is this one right here it is mancera roses greedy this is a very strong almost headache inducing if you overspray water warning very sweet like sugary sweet rose fragrance okay um so yeah this is perfect for this kind of like transitional time after the weather is you know has started to school down um it's better for that kind of time and then another type of fragrance that i have noticed that works really well for this transitional time are the sort of slightly spicy vanillas not not super spicy vanillas like vanilla diorama or you know those spicy vanillas or or um, nishani ani those ones are like really spicy but i'm talking about like milder spicy vanillas right so that that's one not, vanilla and amber amber milder vanilla and milder amber fragrances that are not too thick not too dense those are perfect for right now so i have right here gerla spiritus jubileveni this one is a beautiful vanilla kind of almost boozy beautiful vanilla fragrance through and through vanilla you have a little hint of spice um yeah this is great for this kind of transitional time because it gives you that sort of like cozy vibes but at the same time it's not like too thick too dense too spicy you know not fall quite type of fragrance you know so perfect for for this time of the year you can wear it night or daytime another one from the same house gerla is this one and leek noir this is another vanilla dominant fragrance but this has 
uh, a very important uh, ingredient in here, Angelica, which is, is why it's called Angelique Noir. So this is, a, again, a little bit darker vanilla, but has that sort of, how do I explain the, the smell of Angelique Noir? It's got this sort of musky, rooty kind of scent to it. Um, so it mixed with the vanilla, it's like very much a different type of uh, more interesting vanilla that is not too strong, not too fall-like, but at the same time not really a summertime fragrance either, not a warm weather fragrance. So yeah, daytime or nighttime, Angelique Noir. Um, I believe now, this I have the older packaging you guys, but now you can buy them in the new packaging. Okay, so speaking of ambery type of fragrances that are not too ambery because ambery fragrances for example like um what's the christian dior one the prevailing one amber nui now that is super ambery right spicy ambery now that's a perfect example of a fall fragrance a perfect fall fragrance whereas we have the more milder more sweeter more i don't know if you want to use the word lighter, uh, amber fragrances that are perfect for this transitional uh, time. Um, a perfect, like the epitome of, of transitional, the perfect, their definition of transitional fragrances is this one I have in my hand. It's from one of my favorite fragrance lines from uh, Giorgio Armani. It's C, of course. This is C on the 2021 version. This one, as you can see, is ambery, but not too thick and dense. This is that perfect, slightly ambery, slightly cozy, but very sexy, sweet, kind of juicy from that black currant, juicy black currant kind of ambery fragrance that's perfect for this type of transitional time. Not kind of quite a, um, a you know, summertime or even late, you know, like not summer, not spring, none of that. Not winter either, not fall either. Perfect, really, for transitional times. This is like the very definition of it. If you want to know like the perfect definition of a transitional fragrance, this one right here. I've always said that. I'm the first one to actually talk about this as a transitional fragrance. Giorgio Armani Sientons. Another strong vanilla fragrance that, you know, it can be too much for warmer weather, but also not quite a fall fragrance. You know, this has a little bit of a slight... I would I wouldn't say tropical, but like you know, like a little bit of that kind of hint, like a like a little bit of a summer vibe, but it's too strong to wear in the summer, you know. So this one is uh, Mancera Velvet Vanilla. This is a very it's a very strong tuberose uh, vanilla fragrance. Those two are like that bubble gummy tuberose. Um, you know, Mancera is a a brand that has that synthetic vibe, so. It's that very bubble gummy synthetic tuberose with that heavy dose of vanilla. So this is actually, although it seems like it's a, it's a, you know, summertime fragrance uh, because it's tuberose and vanilla and all that, it's not. It's really good for this type of transitional time. So and then I have, you know, a fragrance right here that has a very cold weather fragrance note in it, but it's not quite strong enough for to withstand the coldness of the fall or winter it's not a beast you know what i mean it's not strong it doesn't have enough teeth but it has that sort of you know cold weather very fall winter cold weather fragrance note of course it's cherry right so this is actually uh by bdk this is huge smoking this one is a Definitely not a summertime fragrance, not for warm weather, no matter how many people try to tell you that. This is also not great for like super cold weather or even like fall weather when it starts to get really, you know, see, no, really cold, not like super cold, but you know, cold weather. This one has been described as so many different things. This has a heliotrope. This has a lot of, uh, by the way, vanilla too. So there's cherry, of course, there's vanilla. That cherry kind of makes you think of cold weather, but it's not quite, doesn't have enough teeth for, you know, cold weather. This also has a heliotrope uh, note in here, which to some people, heliotrope can smell like Coca-Cola-ish. I don't know if that makes sense to you, you know what I mean? So some people have described this kind of Coca-Cola-ish, vanilla, 
uh, you know, cherry fragrance. Not to me, you guys. I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't say it smells like Coca-Cola. Not at all. I'm just telling you what people say in, in the reviews, like they write, you know. Um, no, no, I wouldn't say this smells like Coca-Cola whatsoever, but it is a sweet, vanillic, cherry fragrance with a powdery under pinning on you know undertone yeah the the vanilla and the tonka bean really like adds that sort of like vanilla sweet base this has labdanum which is amazing has a little you know like labdanum is this note that also kind of has like a little leathery vibe i don't know leather cord ish type i don't know it's hard to describe labdanum so yeah i think it's really good for this transitional time this one you guys that's it those are the perfect transitional fragrances to wear going from warm weather to to when you know cold weather when the weather is just starting to cool down right still in the 60s 70s but not in the 80s not hot not above 80s not below 50 still in the middle so these are perfect for that I wanted to do something with clear cut ideas of what is suitable for this kind of transitional period because I've, I've seen so many people just kind of randomly pick oh eeny meeny miny mo kind of feels like it anyway and just talk, randomly talk about a bunch of fragrances call them transitional fragrances I wanted to explain you guys explain to you guys why they're transitional fragrances why they're perfect for this time of the year what in them in the fragrances that make them perfect transitional fragrances you know what I mean so I wanted you to understand that so I wanted to do this video kind of giving you a clear-cut idea of what those fragrances are so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and you watch my videos all the time it helps me grow my community please do that and then ring the notification bell otherwise subscribing alone is not going to do anything they're not going to let you know when i upload so subscribing is basically like nothing and then follow me on instagram where i post everything i do i buy you know life updates updates in general everything i buy yeah follow me so you won't miss any of that news i will see you guys in my next video